No, that's the manager's decision. I come from the school that the manager picks his background staff. So yeah, who would be his goalkeeping coach, who would be his assistant coach. That's a decision for the manager. And Martin said it to me, would I have any issue with Roy being appointed? I said, absolutely not a problem. Not a problem at all. And uh, talks progressed from there. Who wanted Roy in? Was it Martin or was it the FAI? No, that was Martin. Um, I mean, when, when, when Martin agreed to be the manager, um, the backroom staff, first of all, for a manager is his decision. Um, Completely. Would, complete. Always is, should be. As I said to Martin, look, uh, if, if you told me who my commercial manager should be or my finance director, that wouldn't be your side of it. But when you want an assistant manager or a goalkeeping coach you know, or whatever it is, that's the manager's decision. So he asked what the association's view would be um, in terms of Roy being the assistant. And we said, and I said in particular, absolutely no problem. Absolutely no problem. Okay, now, if you stick on the headphones, I want to play just a little <laughs> bit of our, our interview on September the 11th when um, Giovanni was uh, parting the ways. And uh, this is uh, just when we knew that Mick McCarthy's name was being bandied about and Martin O'Neill's name was being bandied about and um, then this. Yeah, do, do you rule anyone out? I mean, do you rule Roy Keane out as a potential candidate if he sends in an application? <laughs> I don't think I'd comment on any, on, on any individual. <laughs> it was the laugh that got people. They were wondering whether you thought my question was so outlandish at the time. No, I think I think it's been well speculated for for a long time about maybe Roy's relationships with the association. And I suppose I was trying, probably trying to lighten the tone of the question. But I mean, I suppose what people would have known, Pat, in, in, in my own particular instance, is that Roy and I wouldn't have had much contact in the past. I mean, because he was a player. Um, with the team and I was probably a young honorary treasurer or whatever it was there wouldn't have been any great dialogue so when we met last week there was no problems whatsoever OK um, now I, I'm going to do the dirt on you again and play this clip uh, this is Roy talking <laughs> about, uh, about you <laughs> who John Delaney he's on about the honesty and take, I wouldn't take any notice of that man really? no so people, you know, people forget the last time I in the World Cup 2002 yeah. people seem to forget what was going on in that World Cup and that man's on about honesty I was one of the players, he didn't, he didn't have the courtesy to ring me. He got interviewed and all he said was, I don't know where he is, he's on the island. He's on the island somewhere, I think. I've been involved in Ireland since I was 15 years of age. And that man didn't have the decency even to make a phone call. But he knew where to contact you? He could have phoned me, of course he could have. Praise the supporters for the sake of it. Listen, let's change that attitude towards Irish supporters as well. Listen, they want to see the team winning as well. Let's not kid ourselves. I know we're a small country and you listen, we're up against it, but let's not just go along for the sing song every now and again. OK, the two sides are Roy Keane there. One, the latter part, which is presumably why Martin wants them. We're not there for the sing-song, we're there to win, which you want. You want that uh, kind of a mentality. But the first bit is you and him. I mean, you are going to have more truck with each other. No, I mean, I think we all say things, Pat, at different parts of our life. I mean, I'm sure you've said, I've said things that we regret, OK? And we all say things uh, at a point in time that are relevant. But anything that would have been said by Roy or I... Uh, to each other, about each other, is now irrelevant. It's over. It's irrelevant because um, Irish football and our country is bigger than anything. Bigger than anything. But have you had to meet with him face oh, to him. face? No, I've met him last so week. So there's no issue? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, I'd say we discussed the past, and I don't want to go into too much what we said because it's, it's unfair. I'd like to keep those things private. The past was discussed for about 30 seconds and it was all about the future, about how... Um, two great icons of Irish soccer, Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane, and uh, people like myself and the association can work together for the better of Irish football for this country. Um, there was, I mean, to be honest with you, uh, I don't think we'd ever sat down and spoken before we met last week um, in, the, in, the, in the way that we did. And it was absolutely brilliant from my point of view. And I think from his point of view,